Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to your favorite YouTube channel, Tony and Rachel. I am Rachel and I am bringing you an episode of Cruise News Now. So first of all, happy September 1st. I can't believe that September is already here. This year has flown by. But we have a lot to talk about today in our cruise news, all the way from a brand new luxury cruise liners being built to Disney's new vaccine policies and also the Disney Wonder stuck at dock. But that's not all. We also have two theme park attractions coming out. Two theme park attractions at sea, that is. So stay tuned and we will go over all of this and I'll let you guys know what to look forward to. $647,000 and then the price will go up from there I guess depending on whatever size house that you actually want so besides it stops for the renovations like I said it will travel all the way around the earth three every three and a half years this ship will have 20 restaurants and bars a marina with a lounge and water toys like kayaks and jet skis three pools and sun decks a salon and even space for your pets so it is a pet friendly place where you can live. You need to work remotely. The narrative will also be equipped with amenities like Wi-Fi, workspaces, and leasable private offices. It will even have a bowling alley and a microbrewery, a library, movie theater, art studio. All this will also be on board. 
The ship will also have a hydroponic garden that you can work in. So if you like gardening, that is always an option too. And it'll also have a residential kitchen where you can cook your own food. So you don't always have to go to the dining room or to one of the restaurants to eat. You can actually cook your own food in the residential kitchen. The ship will have professionals on board such as doctors, pharmacists, nutritionists, and physiotherapists. They'll also have a hospital and a helicopter pad for medical emergencies. The ship motto is to live happier, healthier, and a longer life. So this ship, once again, is called the Storyline Vessel and they are taking reservations for permanent residents on their cruise ships. So if that's something that you want to do, it's pocket change, one million for a studio, by all means. All right, so let's get on to our second bit of cruise news. Uh, Disney Cruise Lines has new vaccine policies that are going into effect September 23rd. So Disney will be dropping its testing requirements for vaccinated guests on Disney Dream, Fantasy, Wonder, and Wish. The testing will be dropped on Disney Magic November the 7th. On those same dates, unvaccinated guests will no longer be required to have a second COVID-19 test done at the terminal. So whereas they had to test negative and then have it done again, they will no longer have to have the second one done. Unvaccinated negative test taken within three days prior to departure. So if you're not vaccinated, you must show a negative COVID-19 test to sail on Disney three days within the departure date. On September the 2nd, cruisers from US, Canada, and Puerto Rico vaccination requirements for kids will be 12 and older instead of five. So on another note, it looks like the Disney Wonder was stuck at the dock. So it looks like they were part of the whole tugboat strike that happened. This was on August the 30th and it delayed their departure. The ship had no choice but to remain docked until they could get the problem all resolved. Disney still provided an amazing sailaway party even though they weren't going anywhere. And according to the guests, the fact that they were stuck, it didn't bother them at all because Mickey, Goofy, and Donald, and all these Disney characters made it the very best that they possibly could, and all of the guests still had fun. I'm unsure if they're still docked right now. I tried to find something on it, and there hasn't been any updates. So I guess I'll just keep an eye on the news to try to figure out if they're still there or if they were actually able to sell. And this, they were uh, docked in Vancouver, so. All right, so let's get to the fun stuff now. This is exciting. We have two attractions, like amusement park attractions at sea. So we already know that Carnival came out with the first ever at sea roller coaster called Bolt. Well, it looks like they're preparing for a second one. So Carnival's preparing for its second roller coaster at sea, Bolt. It's the ultimate sea coaster with test runs taking place this week. So look forward to riding on Bolt. It will be on Carnival's new ship, the Carnival Celebration, and it'll debut this fall. So look forward to riding on Bolt on the Carnival Celebration. It's also on the sister ship of the Mardi Gras. So this was just in. MSC Seascapes will be featuring a new ride called Robotron. It's another like amusement park ride at sea. It will debut this December. It's a top deck attraction with a robotic arm attached to a gondola that'll seat three guests. Your guests will be flying 175 feet above sea level and riders will get a 360 degree view as they are flipped upside down and hang over the side of the deck. I'll insert some pictures so you guys can see what this looks like. The ride also has a custom customizable thrill level so you can customize it however you want and Robotron will also act as a DJ playing music and flashing all kinds of lights. So if you're planning on going on MSC this December, it's the MSC Seascape, I believe. Yep, MSC Seascape, they are putting on their Robotron. So look forward to that this December. It looks like it'll be a lot of fun. So thank you guys once again for tuning in to our cruise news now. Please don't forget to subscribe, like our channel, leave us a comment, share our videos, and tap that notification bell so that you get notified whenever we upload new stuff. Until next time, we will see you guys later. Talk to you soon.
Bye.